I think we wanted to say the same. It's not that different, right? Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs>
I would say generally life science is very complex. So you have like a lot of stakeholders, um, but, but I would agree with Uwe that having a great team and then really, really seasoned, experienced advisors is priceless. Um, because when you're very young in a field, um, you can succeed because you're quite creative. But as said, um, life science is highly regulated. So there are some pitfalls that you can avoid if you have somebody experienced in the group. There's so many. Yeah. Actually realizing that you're working in a startup. Yeah. That's what you do every day. Right? Yeah, that's, that's super true. There's this one moment because you have all these running up to the signature with the investors. And that's super painful because you have to get familiar with all the legal um, requirements. Mm -hmm. And then at a certain point, you're like, oh, wow, we're a startup now. Yeah. That's super cool. So if you're a researcher and you have a cool idea, then don't be afraid of that idea. Just take it, embrace it, and take it to the next level. That can be a startup, for instance. You can go and talk to your technology transfer office, which most universities have by now, and then just look out for programs, incubators, accelerators that are designed for scientists specifically.